This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Now, I want us to take a look uh, at the marks of a witness. There's three marks of a witness that are, that, are, that are indicated in this passage of Scripture. And then I want us to take a look at the message of the witness. To, and whether or not we'll finish today, I don't know. But we'll start going through this. But there are three basic marks of a witness that are indicated. The first one is in verse 14, and that is that a good witness knows who he is. If God has called you to be a witness and you are called to be a witness and to represent Christ in this world at this point in history, at this time, in this place, you are called to do that. That is a calling for your life. God put you here for His purposes and His plans. You are called to be a witness. And a good witness is one who knows that. One who knows who he is, where he's from, and where he's going. A good witness knows that. Unless you really know that you are called by God and that you are here for His purpose and His plan, you really aren't going to be a good witness. I have gone through, even as a lost person, growing up in the church, I went through all these soul-winning courses and all this stuff, you know, and it was all like how to be a good witness and all of that stuff and learn the four spiritual laws and all of those things and and Heaven's Road and, you know, and I've probably used every chick uh, track that there ever was, you know, to, to, to share Christ. I mean, I've gone through all of those things, but I've discovered later, and in, 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 as I started growing in the Lord, that that's not what made me a witness. What made me a witness was what people saw in me and through my life. That's what made me a witness. The difference in my life. It wasn't about me going up and knocking on the door and asking somebody, if you were to die tonight, would you go to heaven or hell? It wasn't about that. Now, some people are called to that, and I don't have a problem with that. Some people are directly led to do that, and that's great. Some people have that ministry. I do not. And I would venture to say most of you do not. That's just not where you are. That's not your calling, or that's not your ministry, and that's okay. But you are called to be a witness. You have that responsibility. You are put in a place by divine appointment to connect Christ with the world. You have your circles of influence. Now, it's amazing to think that God has destined you to have a circle of influence, especially when I look at some of you. But God has called you to have a, an influence on people's lives. He has put people in your life by destiny so that you would reveal Christ to them. That is your calling. That is your responsibility. That is your focus. That is what what God wants to accomplish in and through your life by divine appointment. And so he puts people in your life that you can connect with. Sometimes it's just a one-time connection. You might just meet somebody uh, on a road and and, uh, in a restaurant somewhere and you just have this one, just a few seconds or a few minutes And that's by destiny that God has planned that. Other times you build relationships with people. And in that process they begin to see Christ in and through your life. That's by destiny. God has put you in people's lives. He's put people in your life for His purpose and His plan. And a witness knows that. A good witness knows who He is and where He's headed. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.